Tristan Miyake Mugler. And if this is your first time here at the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and support the channel. We are going to be talking about Legendary Season 2 today. It starts this Thursday, May the 6th. And before we start this episode, we got to make sure that we, you know, recap Season 1 for those who do not really know. So I have a shady review that starts Eight. The eight houses on the show are the House of West, the House of Balmain, the House of Ninja, the House of Ebony, the House of Escada, the House of Lanve, the House of Gucci, and the House of St. Laurent. Lots of highlights this season, so I'm going to focus on those for this quick recap. Episode 1, we are introduced to the houses, and we immediately realize that a lot of the legendary audience does not follow current ballroom. There was a lot of noise about the House of Ninja uh, being all cisgender women, when the truth is most of the ladies on that team have been holding it down in the ballroom for years, especially yes. Mother Dolores and Chise Ninja. Up and come a legend, Chise. Their performance shut a lot of hitters up though, and every house showed their asses off, and we found out that nobody was going home because it's the first episode. Episode 2 was the first elimination of the season, which actually was the biggest highlight and first controversy of the season. Bottom two houses were the Houses of Balmain and the House of West, who were asked to send in one representative to battle to keep their houses alive. So, King James West sent in the drag performance diva from Philly, Wilma, and Father Jamari said that he felt that as the father, it was his job to defend his house. Although Wilma was the clear winner of the battle, the non-ballroom judges were taken aback by the house father's passion, you know, and Balmain's were left to live another day. Mm -hmm. The controversy shook the entire ballroom community and the show officially began. <laughs> Episode 3, we take a trip to Circus Berserkus. After two weeks of complaining about having non-ballroom judges, we are graced with the presence of an icon, special guest. Icon Tyra Maison Margiela, also known as Mother Electra Abundance Evangelista from Pose. She showed up and showed out in true ballroom icon form, and she was letting the contestants have it. She said that the gorgeous house of Gucci isn't that stunning, but Miss Delicious got her lick back with You're Not That Pretty Either. Supreme House went to the house of Escada, leaving Chise Ninja to battle the legendary pretty Saint Laurent, Chise won, keeping the House of Ninja alive, and sent the House of Saint Laurent, Lanvin, 007, on their way. Episode 4, The First Money Bomb, The Wild Wild West. This gave us a theme and new categories that, that we haven't seen on that show before. Best dressed gown with a spinning element was a parade of fashion knots. However, shout out to Twilight Escada, who actually had a cute fucking fashion moment mm -hmm. and gave us something to remember. Father Jarrell Gorgeous Gucci Lost Body, and that was the end of that category. We're not talking about it. The houses had their final challenge, which was the runway as a house challenge, and House of Ninja ended up winning that category. Shout out to the ninjas. However, Long Vangs were the supreme house of the night, and because it was a money ball, nobody went home. Episode 5, remember, remember the Time was based on ancient civilizations. First category was Old Way, and it was nice. Second category was Production as a House with a floor performance element, and it was nice. But Grand Prize of the Night went to My Girls, the House of Ninja. And the bottom two houses were Lanve and Ebony, who sent in Michaela and Shorty to battle. This was the best battle of the entire season. A lot of people were like, Michaela fucking ate it. But me and a lot of other people were like, Shorty stays. No, no shade. shade. <laughs> but the judges decided that Michaela stayed and House of Ebony went home. Hashtag justice for Shorty. Yes, Episode 6, The Extraterrestrial Bomb. The first category was Fembot Vogue Performance, followed by Performance as a House with a Bizarre Twist, Take Me to Your Leader. Uh, Lavin was the house to win the Supreme category, and they were the first house to win three Supreme uh, titles for the uh, season. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Bottom two houses this time was Escada and Ninja, and Escada sent out Cheyenne, mm -hmm. and Ninja sent out Shannon. Not Chise, who was apparently the secret weapon. That's what Dolores said before. Cheyenne was not playing with Miss Shannon. She wiped her out and ninjas were sent home. Episode six. 
Anyways, moving on. Episode 7. This was a superhero-themed money ball, the second money ball. I have to shout out the guest judge from Toronto, supermodel of the world, Winnie Harlow. Mm -hmm. She was a great judge on the show. Um, And there were so many highlights, but the battle between Pacra and Michaela versus Lolita and Honey was probably the hottest. Hmm, that or Michaela versus Shorty. But anyways... First, Lolita dragged Michaela across that stage with a scorpion move. Then, Honey completely ma- massacred the runway, and they walked away with ten thousand dollars, well deserved. Your, your makeup, makeup is ugly, nasty. and you did, your makeup is nasty, nasty, and you did not pay rent for this stage. But the Superior House once again, for the fourth time, went to the House of Lanvin, and they were given the privilege to pick a partnering house for the finale ball. And they chose the gorgeous house of Gucci. So the finale begins and we have the mega houses competing in five categories. Sorry, the winning mega house was Balscada, leaving Balmain and Escada to battle for the grand prize and legendary status. In the end, the winning house was the house of Balmain, who I truly feel had the real Cinderella story of the entire season. They started as bottoms. And and <laughs> started bottom. from the bottom, but we here, okay? <laughs> Congratulations to the House of Balmain uh, on a season well played, and a hundred thousand dollars to the House of Balmain. He so, is in the House of Balenciaga, <laughs> and I am in the House of Miyaki Mugler, and both of our houses are represented on season, on season two. two. So we're basically gonna like be battling all se- all year. It's no it's, shade. It's so it's giving like Balenciaga or Mugler. The um, houses on the show are Balenciaga, Miyaki Mugler, the House of Chanel, the House of Tishi, the House of Garcon, the House of Icon, the new House of Lux, the House of Milan, the House of Orici, and the House of Prodigy. Prodigy. So wow. shout out to all the eight houses once again that were on season one because without you guys doing what you guys did in season one, we would not have no season two. And I really feel like the show is going to amp up. It's just I would hope so. We need more seasons. So we let's do. go through the houses and feel like let's go uh, see how they do. Let's start with first house, Balenciaga, honey. House of Balenciaga. Balenciaga. Come on. I'll go wake it up. I'll go shake it up. Well, no shade. That's my chant, though. Like, I even feel like I want to vote for that chant, but, you know. No so shade. we got Honey. You mm-hmm. already know who Honey is. So is Honey on was on last season um, as a on. villain, you know, that said the stage is nasty. You know, she has mouth. She has so sass. your makeup is Your makeup nasty. is nasty. She has sass, performance, in the ballroom a scene. Great let's personality. Talk about ball. She, like, really, really, really is a performer. Um, and I feel like everybody in the scene loves honey. honey so shout out to honey she had to be on that team we got Kalik Kalik show stop and Kalik y'all already know what it <laughs> you already had know had to be on when that you hear team. Kalik's name there is only one Kalik uh, I, first as a prodigy then Balenciaga Vogue fam she don't play had to be on that team and our Detroit legend Jupiter Balenciaga honey <laughs> okay and the against. shade is with Jupiter I remember actually this is like, I'm not even trying it. At first, when I seen the performance, I don't know why. I didn't really understand it. I really didn't see it at first. But then I went to Chicago and seen her perform in, in person. person. Woo! And there is an energy it's and an shit. attitude that comes out of Jupiter up. that the energy she just matches out of her this performance world. with it. And trust me, she is not going to play on that show, Jupiter. Something you have to really witness in person. And if you look at her later clips, she really kind of showed you why she's legend. So shout out to Jupiter. Who's next? Uh, Cha Cha. Chacha Balenciaga. I don't know who Chacha Balenciaga is. I'm not trying it. But I have no rhythm either. All right. So, Genoa hasn't met him. So, we can't really talk about Chacha. Yeah. Um, and I haven't seen them. But knowing, like, what Aga's, the hell she gives, <laughs> she's not on the team reason. for no reason. It's no shade. That's what Anybody I'm in the house could have been on the team. <laughs> Excuse me, but anybody so... could have been on the team. <laughs> and then the parent of the house, we have. Is the legendary. Is she the icon? Yeah, I don't know. Damn. I, up, she must be up and coming icon by now. Um, Shannon Balenciaga. The show stopping. Um, the the mother. Show stopping. The overall mother. It's no shade. Every like, time we see her, we love her. She gets on that floor and she carries. Every time Perfect we tense, see her, we face. love her. What else does she walk? Best dressed. All the fashion, all uh, the body categories. Everything. <laughs> and she's, yeah, she's beautiful. The overall mother of overall mothers. <laughs> no, not of overall mothers. 
Yes, I said it. Okay, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so Shannon is on the show. Shout out to Shannon. We love her. I have never seen her dance or Vogue or nothing like that. But she so. can do it. I've seen some her cut up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> If oh, Erica gave what she gave last season, y'all better watch out for Shannon, honey. There we go. That's a good. The mother has a personality, say. and she's waiting to show it on TV. All right, Atlanta's jewels, Shannon. So Balenciagas. Yep. Right. So shout out to the house of Chanel. Let me see this right now. So right off the bat, I know um, Alana, legendary Alana Chanel. Oh, that's who that I is. I know um, legendary yeah. Cookie Chanel. Um, I know Amari Chanel from Chicago when we go to in the Midwest. Um, I don't know the other two. Oh my God, Twisted. I hope I'm not like embarrassed or get ready. But for I mean, that. we don't know everybody. Right, America. we're not going to know everybody. Um, but we not, will let you know about the people right. who we do know of. So, so but Chanel, I know for sure, like the three people that I do know, um, Alana is one of the fabulous I mean, drag performances um, ever. She's one of the best, fab, uh, best drag performances. She really, really vokes down. She's one of the first drags that gave me Femme Queen essence mm-hmm. um, when I watch her. So I'm expecting her to eat on the show. Amari is a new bitch, but she is soft and kind, like real soft and kind. You know, dark skin and pussy from Chicago, you know. Kind of. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's not scared, yeah, yeah, she's not scared yeah, yeah, to wear yeah, yeah, panty yeah, yeah. and be yeah. like, she's not scared. No, she's cunt, she cuts cunt, 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 cunt. Um, I, th- I think she'll do cute on the show. I'm not also so sure about like if they're going to like how their productions are going to look and stuff like that. Um, I feel they'll do cute. But I mean, yeah. Was that Angel? The show. Nah, Angel is not a Chanel. It's not a Chanel anymore. She's a Rami. Right. Rami. Um, so yeah, Chanel's, we can't talk about them too much because we don't really know them like that. It's no shit. So we're gonna, we're going to move on. The Garçons. Garçons. We have um, Stasha. Mother Stasha, Stasha Garçon. Yeah. She just won the... Recently. Oh yeah, recently. It was like three years ago. Yeah, she 2019, was 2020 probably. She had just won Miss Continental. Two. Shout out to Stasha. She's an amazing performer. Mm-hmm. Um, she ripped up the stage. We know that she's going to mm-hmm. do it on that show. Legendary she's coming to compete. Face, honey. Legendary icon. Yeah, mug. Icon. Is she icon now? Yeah, she is an icon. She's been an icon. Yeah, come on, icon. Icon Stasha for face. We have Milan Garçon, the runway diva Garçon, honey. One yeah. of the, oh, the runway. And I remember yeah. at the Mugler Ball, if I'm not sure, this one is the one that um, won the aftermath. So just just barely lost the aftermath and she was processing, mm-hmm. processing, processing. Possibly, yeah. It's one at of the them. aftermath. She was carrying at the aftermath. Um, so I'm actually excited to see what they do on that show. Um, yeah, shout out to Milan. I love you. Also, I have Tonka. Tonka, Tonka Big Boy Runway. Hello. I actually think she's legendary for Big Boy's Runway. Um, so, shout out to Tonka. Uh, yeah, it's over for you. I haven't seen you do anything else yet, but yeah, your runway is dope. And I don't like many Big Boy's Runway because their body doesn't move with them, it's just their feet. But Tonka has hips Honey. that move with it. Has so a nasty one. Who else? Eugene? Eugene, runway, Prince, Work, yes. Eugene is in the- you, um, Egypt. That's Egypt. Yes, yeah, so it's Egypt. Really Egypt, Garçon. Um, Egypt that Gucci. Walk is- the walk, the look like the, the kneecaps are broken and shit like that. She's bad. Bad, mm-hmm. bad, 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 bad. The walk is over. So it looks like Garçon is giving me runway squad. Mm-hmm. If I'm not mistaken. It's, it's like how, um, we have a lot of runway people. A lot of yeah. run, runway strong mm-hmm. runway people in this group. Who's next? Um, Savion. Savion. Yeah, legendary Savion. for All American Runway. So it's a runway squad. It's work. a runway squad. So shout out to the House of Garçon. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Next we have Icon. House of Icon. Yes, there is a House of Icon. This kind of annoyed me. Of course, because um, I'm part of the international scene. And I asked, a lot of kids said, the House of Icon. But I mean, they are a house. Yeah, so I'm like, bitch, what the fuck don't you guys know about Ashley like, Icon, Sabrina Icon, James Davina Icon, Davina Icon. Um, Devo Icon, Come on, Weezy man. Icon, Alex Icon, Shanene Icon, like the like Icon and most of them does their are thing. Legends now, <laughs> and most of them are legends, right? But yeah, they're mostly based in New York and Philly. But if you follow Ballroom, you should at least know these fucking names. So yes, Especially the House of Icon right. exists. Um, and shout out to House of Icon for getting on the show. Jamil, um, Jamil Icon, he's a legend from Philly. He's one of the tall boys of Vogue fam, and there are not that many anymore. So it's going to be quite interesting to see like um, who else. Sakuri, Sakuri, Drags. Drags. I'm assuming. Um, I just seen a couple of clips of them because I did not know them before Legendary, um, and I seen a couple of clips of her. And she, yeah, she gets down. So I'm expecting her to perform on that show. Um, Kylie, Kylie, Baby I do doll. not know. Um, I do not know Kylie or Baby Doll um, Icon, so I can't really She's talk about them. Nice. Flex Icon, I also do not know too much about Flex Icon, so I can't talk about them. I kind of just listed every icon I know. No shade. <laughs> And finally, oh, Ziggy. Ziggy, I, I do know Ziggy. Ziggy Pucci from the Kiki scene. Legendary in the Kiki scene. Dramatic from way back in the day. I'm talking about 2009, 2010. 
So it's nice to see somebody from back in, you know, the time when I was coming out on the show. Shout out to Ziggy. Um, <laughs> the controversial house the of controversial Lux. The controversial house of Lux because, you know, none of us heard of Lux before. No. If you don't know the tea, go in the bottom, clips, dips, whatever group. If not, watch the show on Thursday. Apparently, they're going to talk about it in mm-hmm. the show. Why the house of Lux is even on the show. Um, Nemo. I do not know Nemo Mizrahi. Becky, Becky I did see the bald-headed Vogue fam. Um, she's kind. I don't know Jaw Akasha Lux. Luck. Jaw Lux. Don't know Jaw Lux. Yeah. And Dizzy Donnell, I do know. Watch um, one with a twist. Um, the Vogue is cute. He's a good dancer, too. I know that I've seen him doing a lot of productions and stuff like that for people. He does a lot of dancing and boom catting, you know, and all that shit. So, House of Lux, we're ready to so see you. The next House, house you have is the House of Milan. Milan. Of and Mother Joyce Milan. Jocelyn. Jo- Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Yeah, so Femme Queen Performance. Often. This is Femme Queen. It's Femme Queen Performance. It's clean. Yes, it is. I think she's from Miami. Yeah, so yeah, congratulations. We also mother. have Taishan. I believe that's Taishan. Taishan Milan. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about Taishan the fashion Milan. Um, not really sure who that is. Marlene. Marlene. Milan. No, keep going. Malik. Malik Milan, no. Outlaw, I believe. I don't know. Okay. Awesome. So there's a lot of people on the House of Milan team that I don't know. It's not shade or nothing like that. Um, But we will get to know them on the show, which is why... Milan has a lot of talented people in their house. So I'm assuming if they're on the show, it's going to give it something fucking good. So shout out to the House of Milan and their people on the show. So the next house is Orichi. So the next house is Orichi. (laughs) Orichi is a new house. Um, Omari is legendary for both femme dramatic. And he is the parent on the show, so it's dope to see him as a young founder of the house that is a leader on the show. And he walks all the way, runway, and high performance as well. Yeah. Yeah. So shout out to Omari. I'm expecting very talented, very very from Omari on that show. He has years of production skills, so I'm expecting Orichi actually to turn it. We have Gillette. Gillette. I think she's the founding mother. Really. And legendary for runway as well from New York City, Butch Queen runway. Really, really talented at runway. Um, yeah, sickening. Next. Alora or Nina? Alora, Nina. Or Nina. I don't know. Or Alora, Nina. Karma. Karma. No. Nah. Looks like a voguing girl. And then Remy Ma. And then Remy Ma. Legendary. That's dope. That's dope. I'm actually excited. Legendary to see Remy, Remy Ma. Remy Ma. You know, Remy. she rocked the Mugler balls. She was on Team Canada for um, the 13 Reasons Why Aftermath and all that. So it was really dope to see um, Remy Ma come back out and I'm expecting to see her turn on drag performance. performance and yeah legendary legendary drag, drag performance, performance now leave so the legendary out we won't okay shout out to Remy but they're Remy 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 so she has a nice them. squad Arichi does have a good well the three that I know is pretty strong so shout out to Arichi uh, this next house has a nice squad too no shade Shout out to the prodigies. Yes. They got a bunch of show stopping girls on that team. No show stopping that Starting we know with in ballroom. The mother Jason Prodigy. You know, I was surprised that, that Jason was the parent of the house. Jason I would expect is a very hands-on mother. Very, you see Jason everywhere. Yes, anywhere like, you see Prodigy, Prodigy, you see and you hear Jason. It's yeah, very, yeah, yeah. He's very been talking about a very big well. personality. He's on all the aftermaths and everything. You, you already know that video with him and Kelly. <laughs> right. The, yes, yes, so, yes. Your eyelashes mm-hmm. melting. But yeah, yeah. Wait, shout out say, to Jason. Did they say legendary Jason? Icon. Icon. Jason, Jason Prodigy. Prodigy. Sorry. Icon mother, yeah. We also have Hank. Hank, legendary. legendary Hank Prodigy. Yup, legendary schoolboy realness. Realness with a twist. And also Wax Sex Siren as well. Oh, word. Yeah. That. He's on, very sense. acrobatic, great performer. Yeah. In all the categories that I've seen him walk, he actually does really well in. So mm-hmm. shout out to Hank. Deja Vu. Deja Vu. Woman's performance. Just, her body doesn't Lexi. know no bounds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can see in the picture, <laughs> legendary. Yeah. Her foot is up. I'm expecting her to give me those TV moments that you want from Legendary as a dancer. Um, who? Yeah. G. Legendary G, G. Prodigy. He also uh, is a legendary for a with a twist. I battled him one time and he did get me, but I think I should have got him. He's the one that does the backflips and all that shit with me so he can do that. In the yeah. all black? Yeah. Okay. The one in the all black. G. Yeah. Prodigy. Realist with a twist. Legend. Folks down. And last but certainly not I least, the, the legendary Cam Cam. No, oh, I re- no, he's legend. Look, he's legend. Well, well I, when I talk about Rhythms with a Twist, I talk about Cam Cam. Cam Cam is my favorite twister. The thing you see, boy, but when you see that Vogue, it is fucking cunt, yeah. right? So I'm expecting Cam Cam to really, 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 really eat they it. They got a set show. team, no shade. Hank, yeah. Jason, Deja Vu, G, and G, Cam. G. It's going to be a fucking yeah. sickening team. Shout no out shade. to the House of Prodigy. House yep. of Tishi. Shit, starting I was, with... I was ready for the last house. Damn, I was ready. This is Gia? Yep, starting with Gia, legendary femme queen runway from the West Coast. Femme queen attitude. 
she's letting you for runway. It's gonna be over from her. Trey, she, I have not seen them uh, before, I'm but he's through a watching, girl. yeah, they do Vogue. I think all of them do Vogue on the team. Yeah. Um, I did check out their page after seeing it, and Trey is a ballet dancer as well. I oh, think wow. I actually think that every Vogue femme in that house had to have ballet training. His clips are sickening for ballet. And then we have Dro. Dro, Runs with a Twist, same thing. Ballerina, nasty, but Runs with a Twist. Next we have Japan. Japan. And you already know Japan She gets. performs. She is a performer. She battles. That's what battle she pattern, does. I'm like, sure. And um, she used to actually, she does make music and does uh, videos and shit like that as well. So she's as well. used Hair to makeup. productions. You know what I mean? So I'm expecting Japan to like turn it on the show actually. Really, she, really she's a really good personality too. Yeah, like. she's beautiful. Nice personality. She, yeah, she knows how to work it. So I'm expecting her to eat the camera. And last but not least, Stanley. And last but not least, Stanley Tishi, Vogue Femme. New Vogue Femme, but new girl. and strong, bitch. <laughs> I, every clip I see of her, she's like making it to like, she's processing bitches and um, performing. But she's definitely one of those people that when you see her voguing, it gives, is it Vogue? Are we watching Vogue or are we watching ballet? So she will shine on something like Legendary. So shout out to Stanley. I'm expecting to see you fucking eat it on Legendary. And the last house is. Last, the House of Balenciaga. Last, no, I'm joking, but no. not least, <laughs> the house of Miyake is Mugler. the iconic house of Miyaki Mugler. Ooh, let me just fix up myself. <laughs> Ooh, talk so, about it. I don't even need my phone for this. I don't even need my phone. Start from the top down. Start from the bottom up. Start from the bottom up. Uh, not, there's no real bottom because everybody on the team is Isn't, fucking hot. No so we're going to talk about like the newer people to the older people. Starting with my little brother. Malik! The king of Brunus with a twist. The supreme twister from the no um, Vogue Shay. ball Met Gala situation with Anna Wintour and Vogue and all that. Malik Miyaki Mugler. One of the nastiest Vogueers I've ever met. His own personality, his own Vogue. He don't want to copy nobody. He just wants to feel it and carry he has this energy that is just so aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> when he's coming at you, he comes at you. He has this aggressive performance and bro. But aggressive in a good way. Yes. Not like aggressive to where like, I'm going to beat you up. It looks like that. It's just, bitch, I know I want to win. Yes. And I'm trying to win tonight. And yes. you, you can tell. You, Every ball. The passion. Every That's the word. single ball. Passion. And passion. He's very passionate. passionate. And, so and that me. personality. Is on 100. <laughs> okay? And he's not coming to play with Malik that is here for the fucking he's shit. He's been training and waiting for this opportunity. So shout out to my brother Malik Miyaki Mugler. You already um, know what it is. On the team, you're going to fuck it up. Yeah. Um, next, Tati. Princess Tati, Tati, of Tati, Tati, Vogue. Tati. Tati Miyaki Mugler. My bitch. My sister. She's he so pretty, amazing. Pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The Hilarious. She's been doing this. Like, she's she, not new to this. She <laughs> has her own vlog and shit like that. She does performances out there. She's not new to this performance thing. And I think just like all the other Mugler's and a lot of people on the show, not just Mugler, sorry, a lot of people have been waiting for an opportunity like mm-hmm. this to get on a main screen and show everybody, you know, the what they've been working on, mm-hmm. right? And Tati, I feel like, is going to be one of those people that gets to show Tati. really what the fuck you're working on. She <laughs> has the personality. She's a femme queen. She's beautiful. And she has talent. So I'm expecting Tati to... to yeah, I'm expecting Tati to be one of the crowd favorites because, you know, they love the femme queens, for mm-hmm, sure, mm-hmm. when it comes to the show. Especially we, we, someone with personality. We love like, the femme queens. You love someone that's funny, that's likable, and Tati is definitely that girl. Yes, Absolutely. exactly. So we're going to shout out Tati. We're going to be following her. We're rooting for her as well. Um, next, Diego? we have the legendary Diego. Twister. And Sex, Siren, and Body. Honey. Diego. Miyake that body's there. over. No shade. Um, yeah. He got legendary status, took a break, and came back with body. Like, I don't even fucking understand. Like, when, when the hell did Diego get this fucking body from? And he vogues, too. It's cunt. Diego it's cunt, it's cunt, it's cunt. is uh, Deja's son. Um, really? Or I'm not... Like, but, uh, something to do with Deja. I'm pretty sure Deja's is uh, his mother. And if not his actual gay mother, his voguing mother. So I know one of the two is right. And that's his inspiration of Vogue. And he literally is the epitome of Deja. Um, so watching Diego Vogue is like mm. they used to basically call him Deja on the floor and shit really? like that. So ballroom, he made his name in ballroom. He got a legendary status. Like I said, he took a little break from the scene, um, and then he came back with body. So right. shout out to Diego. Like shout he, out to Diego. he is so talented, and he's not. I personally feel like when it comes to like people who get their flowers and shit like that, he does not get enough flowers. 
for sure, because you don't hear Diego talk about much. a lot. Yeah. Uh, maybe because it's because you took a break or something like that, but who knows? But I'm sure, for sure, that everybody's going to understand why Diego's legendary and why he's on the team. He's going to be the the, the Jarell of this season, the eye candy that everybody's just going to be like, "Oh, look at that body! Look at that! Look at him!" That's Diego this season. Yeah, Diego for sure. Yeah. Wait yeah. till y'all see that body. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you see that Vogue right, trust right, me because yeah. it's legendary for Vogue like you have to remember that legendary for Vogue game. shout out to Diego not body but for um, Vogue yeah and then we have the two legends on the team starting Prince with Milan. Prince Milan Milan I mean Miyaki Milan Blair. Blair, sorry <laughs> um, no, and, yeah Prince, used to saying that sorry <laughs> Prince is probably like when it comes to like people talking about Vogue around the world and shit like that and who people consider one of the best. He used to this be is, a, This is like, I'm talking about talent and technique and like skill-wise for actual voguing. Who you consider the best voguers? Prince Prince's Milan. name comes up actually comes time. up in all, every single conversation about voguing and who's the best, who's the best, who's the best. Prince's name really does come up. And that's because... She's Prince. <laughs> we've seen it in person. No shit. We've seen it in person. We've seen videos and, and like, shit like that. Like Prince, like whatever you expect to see when you get to see Prince Vogue in person, you're going to see that. Mm-hmm. He it's, adds the stretch, doesn't overdo the stretch. He adds the dancing. He doesn't overdo the dancing. It's also fucking cunt. It's also effortless. He breathes when he vogues. It's just like, when it's you're everything. Like a femme queen, she vogues like a femme queen. It's everything that you want to see in voguing. And Prince is also not new to this TV world. Because she was on ABDC, ABDC Vogue Evolution, so kind of Vogue Evolution. So Prince is actually one of the reasons why Vogue is as popular as it is today. Because mm-hmm. we know that ABDC had a sorry Vogue Evolution had a big part to play with the mainstream blow up yep. of voguing. So it's nice that he actually gets an opportunity to do, do this again. again, but in um, the newer style of TV and uh, game shows, right? And not to mention getting that life because right. life is different now. He Social did it before, media. Right? ABDC was a non during social media like that. It was only Twitter, really. Right. Yeah. Right. So now we have real social media power so and influence. So a lot. Prince, you deserve this. Absolutely. And speaking of, you deserve this. <laughs> Hello. The father of the house. I hope I don't get too passionate about this right now. The father of the house on our team is the icon father Arturo, Arturo Miyaki Mugler. Comes from the house of Blahnik to Mugler. And if there's anybody on this whole cast, like for the Who whole show to be on this season, it's um, Arturo. It is fucking Arturo. Like Arturo has been like, like I actually asked him, and he said ninety eight, ninety seven was the going. first time he started walking a ball. We're gonna go up ninety seven, ninety eight, and he's had a hand to play in Vogue Evolution. He has a hand to play with when it comes to production and all these yeah, other things that. out there Your that you think about. You Any Arturo big voice. popular production that you've seen online, His voice is on it. Arturo has something to do with it. Not just Mugler's or Blahniks oh. when he was a Blahnik, but Every everybody. House. Even the Kiki right? scene. Even in the Kiki scene, Arturo is known internationally as the engineer of Vogue because of how much he does behind the scene. You wouldn't even think that he's like a voguing icon because of how mm-hmm. much he helps so many so much people but right. he actually also has his own dance company that he's been working on for years the monarchy um and he also is a dj and a producer a and a, like all that stuff as well right so now after all these years of pouring and pouring and pouring into people we're getting to actually See and i've always it. said like arturo you never really focus on yourself you never really focus on yourself and blah 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 and you know he started his business last year or the year before um the to put more Icon's focus chicken. on himself and now through you know legendary season two he has an opportunity to do what he's most passionate about and been doing all of his life on tv on the big stage and i feel like arturo deserves mm-hmm. motherfucking deserves to be on the show and I'm like so proud like yes like like yes like I'm a father in the house of Miyaki Mugler quote unquote brand fucking new really whatever but I would never think that I'm anywhere in the fucking room when it comes to deserving to be on the show like Arturo there's just no fucking way Arturo had to be the parent of the show mm-hmm. on the house for the parent from the house and I think like yeah, it's just, you just, it just makes so much sense. It's like, as a Mugler, there is, this team is just so, it's a dream team. Like how 
NBA had their dream team when they went to the Olympics in 96, I think it was. They had their dream team and it was called the dream team. This is our motherfucking dream team. Everybody on this team deserves to be on this team. Everybody on this team is one of the people that you think of when you hear Miyaki Mugler. Everybody on this team is just, yeah, super deserving to, of this. And I'm super proud of this house. And I cannot fucking wait to see how you guys turn it on this show. These judges better not play with my Mugler's. Okay? Because <laughs> I, will, I, will, I, I will lose my mind if they fucking play with the house of Miyaki Mugler on this show. Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? We will fucking have to wait and see. But, like... Season two, just the way that everybody had the chance to learn from season one with the production and all that shit. And judges, the comments and everything. you had an opportunity to learn how to judge. You had a whole fucking pandemic. You couldn't go anywhere anyways. So I hope you're sitting down watching YouTube bars and whatever, Hello. getting into the scene. I hope Leo me taught y'all what she need to teach y'all. Okay. It's and Leo not cause... scared to done them this Hello. season. Hello. So I, I hope she actually like gives us more ballroom this season because the last time it gave, yeah. No shade. Some of those battles, justice for Shorty, <laughs> justice for the West. Like, come on. No shade. A lot no, of justice for Escada? Oh, I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was coming there next. I was coming there next. Oh, no shade. Right. Justice for Escada, too. Because that last battle, no fucking shade. I'll give my vote to y'all. Ooh, well, there but. you have it. So, this is basically a quick wrap up of how we feel about season two. Um, how you feel about going into season two and a quick recap of Legendary One. Don't forget, if you are new here, I'm going to get used to this. If you're new here, hit that motherfucking subscribe button because we need the motherfucking numbers. Like and the just video. Like, like the video because we need Comment. the fucking numbers. Comment because we need the numbers. We're trying to do trying to get this shit monetized ASAP. Okay? And send it to your girlfriend. This shit costs. And your boyfriend. Okay, it costs. It does cost. Okay. So, support the channel by liking, subscribing, and all those things. And we will see you guys uh, pretty much throughout the entire season of Legendary. Um, because, yeah. We got to talk about our health tips. No shade. <laughs> all right. So, this is my boyfriend, GQJ Balenciaga. Balenciaga. And I am Twisted, Twisted Miyaki Mugler. A.K.A. The Plot Twist. Okay. And that was The Plot Twist. <laughs> <laughs> and we out. <laughs>